Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in the USA States Redux mod, playing as a Lone Star Empire. Last time we created our own faction, including Louisiana, which holds Miss Mississippi, and Oklahoma, which now owns Colorado. I never thought that actually Oklahoma touches Colorado. That seems very weird to me, but we have a lot of things to talk about first. For example, someone left a comment yesterday saying that actually Edwin Walker is a real guy. He was apparently the only general to have retired or resigned, resigned in the 20th century, and if you want to look him up, I would really recommend it, because he's quite interesting, quite an interesting fellow. Regardless, we've got a couple more comments to talk about. Uh, first of all, I should really look at my resources to see which states would be best to take. Well, in the end, all of the states will be ours, but New Mexico's got quite a, good, a lot of good stuff. Arkansas, not so much. It got some aluminum, but the land of New Mexico, or also known as the People's Republic of New Mexico, has a lot of resources, which is good. I asked you yesterday, what should we rename our fleet? Because right now, fleet not fleet name not set isn't very interesting. But someone came up with a really, really good name: the Hurricane Fodder. Because I used to live on the Gulf Coast, and my God, were there a lot of hurricanes! Jesus Christ! But we'll get talk about that a little bit later. And people also recommended recommended that I play as Minnesota. Well, maybe eventually. That doesn't sound like too too bad. Maybe a Midwest Empire, and play as New York, which I was actually thinking about that just because New York is quite a huge population, a great industrial base, and they have a lot of history and a lot of wealth, we'll put it like that. But anyways, and most importantly, out of everything so far, I asked you guys a question yesterday. That question was, in what year did Texas achieve independence from Mexico? The correct answer is 1836 is when Texas got independence from Mexico, or earned its independence from Mexico. So, I have another question. Like I said, I would do one question per episode. Question number two. Currently, where is the USS Texas located? It's a battleship. Where is it currently located? I'll give you a hint. No, not really a hint. It's currently closed because it needs repairs at the time of this recording. But where is the USS Texas battleship currently located? Where is it? Where is it? I, I know. I've been to this place twice. And I've actually been on the ship Several times. Twice. So, Prince Edward's I Island has capitulated. The Republic of Nova Scotia. Um, okay, that cool. So, we can subjugate the weaker neighbors now, my friends. That'll be a lot of fun to subjugate some people. Let's see, venture in through the Chihuahua Desert. Well, we will do that march to Tulsa. We'd like to do that, but they're currently in our alliance. We'll do that eventually. Aid. What's there? Our puppet. Eh, this stuff really isn't really necessary right now, but we can march on Baton Rouge, which wouldn't help us either, so we're going to ruin, ruin our borders and venture through the desert of Chihuahuan Desert. Yeah. To expand our influence in North America, we will have to make some ventures. Some of these ventures will be uncomfortable for our troops, but will become acclimated to the terrain in no time. To secure our hold and to compete with the great powers of America, we must make uncomfortable decisions. We can puppet these people. Now, I don't know if that give us really control over it. I think I just want to straight up annex them. Oh, the People's Republic of Pennsylvania declared one the Buckeye Imperium. I have friends from Ohio. Hmm. This is a... Uh, the Amish... The Communist Amish have declared war on the Buckeyes. Go figure. And... The Republic of Edward. Oh, it's over here. Okay. Prince Edward Island. I didn't know you, ex you even existed. Wisconsin's Communist. The Iowan Empire. The Big Land... Big land. That sounds awesome. The big land. People's... The Bronx. There's... Um, Texcoco. There's Texcoco. Big land. Oh, what's down here? The big land. There you are. Well, that's cool. And who can we invite to our faction? Oh, we can invite Texcoco. Hmm. You know what? That could give us a nice little puppet down here. Hmm. Hmm. That could give us another ally. We can always backstab them later. Oh, they are, they are turning communist, but they do have a little bit of fascist influence, probably because of us. You know what? I don't, I could, you know what? We could use a little bit of action. How about we get a little bit of action here? Yes. Invite the faction for now. And, yep, very good. Now, here's the goal. We are going to try to let these guys come in here, if possible. Well, hold on. Wait, the big land. Oh, you're not even connected. What the heck? Am I just fine on you guys? I should be. Good, we are. We've got a long, long time before we can go there, which really, really sucks. But hey, at least we can go to war with Chihuahua soon. 
How strong is Chihuahua? Appalachia declared. Oh, there goes Appalachia. Big man is having a identity crisis. Good. Very good. Chihuahua should be pretty easy to take. Mm. Uh, they will not accept. Oh, now we got some commies here, too. Well, then. Well, then. This is very weird. Very, very weird. Mm, frankly, we'd probably just go and set ourselves up for Chihuahua. That's probably the best. Alright, it's a little laggy. It's definitely a little laggy. Let's see, Alexander Patch, do you got any upgrades for us? No. Like I said, we want to be very aggressive. We're going to go on the offense if we can. We got some military police, which will come in handy quite a bit. It's only 1937, and what shall we do next? Radar. So we can put that on some of our boats eventually. What is Louisiana doing? Because are they justifying on anyone? Well, they want to take us out. But they're allied with us, which is good. Texcoco took one state. It's good. That's good. You guys are... You want to go to war with Arkansas, which I do too. We have some political power. We can influence people down here. High, military high command. The land of seed and honey declared war on the Republic of Manitoba. Well, good luck. Good luck. We're probably going to get ba Bobbit here. Military factory, dockyard, all that good stuff. Yes, please. Because Texas arms shall be the greatest arms in the land. Eh, just do that. That's fine. Need a couple more fighters, a couple more of these things. Light tanks. Uh, I might just wait till we get something better. Great war stuff. Grab some of that too. That's all super important to get eventually. Anarcho Alaska Clear War Mi White Horse Militia. The inst Hold on. Is this Fallout? The Commonwealth. Wow. All right then. Well, this is kind of Fallout now. Wait, who's who's fighting over here? What the heck? Uh, for this. Oh, let's go to war economy. Nice. Angered by New Mexican posture. Are you... Did you... Mm, you're going to war with, without any of us. I really don't want to ruin their borders, but that does not look good. Oh my god, people are just murdering each other now. Awesome. North Dakota declared war on South Dakota. Finally, we have the civil, the, the Dakota Civil War. Finally. God's enriched empire declared war on Sonora. Oh, I love it. Oklahoma, you can have Arkansas as long as I get... Santa Fe and all of New Mexico. Wyoming declared war on Utah. God. Battle Royale. Never was really interested in Battle Royale games until I started playing this. <laughs> we're making alliances in the Battle Royale sector too. Oh wait, are we actually connected here? Oh wait, did you peace out? Oh, they might have pieced out. Huh. Okay, well whatever. We still have you as an ally? Yes. That's right. We created our own faction. No one can touch us. Virginia took that last time. No, South Dakota, don't fall. Chihuahua and Desert. Very good. Mar March on Baton Rouge. Well, we might as well get the focuses for that. So so for years we've been antagonized been, been antagonized by the Louisianians. With the protection of the U.S. gone, the Cajun folk will no longer have the last laugh. We will make a charge across the Sabine River and stride across the marshland. We will march on Baton Rouge and show the Louisianians that without protection they are able to be crushed and they will be. Sorry, Huey Long, but eventually you're going to be against us. Y'all going to be against us eventually. And that's a good thing. Also, let's bring these guys over here. Now, I could. someone also left a comment saying I could train these guys. I will as soon as we get more planes, because I don't want to, like, train and just lose all my planes due to training. Uh, what is this? People's Republic of New... Oh, wait, we got New Mexico. Okay. I thought we did Chihuahua. Awesome. Now, I can use Oklahoma's territory as bait, which is good. Actually, how strong is New Mexico now? Ah, uh, it's not bad. But hopefully they don't really have an air force. Ah, uh, look at that Oklahoma. It's looking pretty long. It's in a white piece. Minnesota. Oh, you split South Dakota. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, hmm. Just cover our portion of Texas. There you go. That's what I want. That's what we like to see. We have to go to war by January 16th, 1940. So we've got some time. We finally got a garrison division. That's kind of nice. Going to put you over here. Just put you in Texas Theater 2. Institute. Oh, thank God. Put down those th synths. Oh. All right. And we'll put you under someone new. Allison Wade. You look a little Germanic there, but that's okay. Uh, you guys come here and plop yourself right there. Gulf Coast. Very hot and humid. Oh. 
There you go. Oh wait, oh you're not even a garrison, you're just you go here. Alright, three. Dos. Almost there. Got another guy right there. I just noticed that. And here we shall go. It says pop it, but really we're probably just going straight up annex them. Cool. Could we go in and have a good time? For the love of God, I hope so. We're going to try to cut these guys off. And hopefully it'll work. Uh, where are you going in? Go that way. There you go. Focus down there. Let them come up through the north. I don't really care. Montana, clear one. See land and honey. Ah, oh, yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Now they're not going to win here yet. That's okay. We just made an encirclement, which is very bueno. You guys do well. You guys go and come over there too. You come help out, and then you you going that way. Take Albuquerque and Santa Fe. Very good. That division done and destroyed. Already they've lost 12,000. We've lost a few hundred. So be it. You know, whatever. Things happen. And, and we caught in our ally. Go ahead and help him out. You might as well help him out too. Good. Ooh, they're attacking us. Ooh. Interesting move. Very interesting. I've never been to New Mexico. Or at least not yet. After this. Mm, are we still justifying on them? Let's not justify on them. Just on these guys. That's much better. Even though this is Mexican territory, I think it's good to look as look at Texas as a massive continental power eventually. Probably do that. If we have enough manpower. If we have enough manpower. Which we should. Since we'll, we will be able to core or create the Confederate States or whatever. Oh yeah. I love having allies. They give us stuff. That's great. We took Albuquerque. That's nice. Uh, you going that way. Come up here. Help them out. Nice. Sonora's gone. Ah, now that's good. God's enriched empire. Ah. Je me souviens. Someone also said that was translated to something else last time. I don't exactly remember what it was. Like, yeah, I don't exactly remember what that is. But whatever. Cool. Cancel. Oh, I'll cancel the lend lease. What do you mean? Thank you, my friends. We are expanding the Lone Star Empire. Cool. Nice. Texas is just reclaiming its natural. Uh, bounty, I guess we call it. We call it a bounty. Yeah, we'll call it a bounty. Cool, if that's the case, let's use them. Go ahead and train until you're done. Hold. Boom. Pop. Oh, we're out of manpower. Mmm. Well, time for more conscription. And since we have an occupied state, cancel the least that's fine. Whatever. We're going to shift this over to garrisons and then use civilian oversight. There's really no point to change anything else here. Really. It's, it wouldn't be smart to brutally oppress the people of New Mexico. We like the people of New Mexico. Even though they might be weird, that's okay. We'll never be able to core them, but whatever. That's okay. Cool. Do that as we watch. Well, everyone kill each other. We like it when everyone kills each other. There we go. 1938. Let's grab some of that. Let time go on so we can get more coring done. They got some radar. Good. Get some better radar so we can build some radar on our ships. Montana is doing well against the land of sea to honey. Aryan nations, Jesus. So weird. Oh, I can't do that. To do this, they will have to be a puppet. I could expand them. I could do this, but I'm probably not, just because I want to have these have them under us for a little bit. So, a march to Tulsa. To secure a northern border from ever-increasing agitation from Congress, we must take preemptive action. The safest way to do so is to deprive Kansas of the Red River, an important strategic barrier between our nations. With their underside exposed, we will be able to march across their vast plains and into their capital or set up border defenses that will be impenetrable by Kansan horses. Wow. West Virginia? Appalachia? What's going on? Where Maryland is getting a little hooky. A little hooky there. And let me guess, we're out of manpower, probably. Oh, Nick. Nick a uh, Jack. Oh boy, what is that? It looks like there's a faction there now. Pacific Defense. I knew California would be up to no good, and I was right. Hmm. We got 14 guys from that. Get rid of that just so we can focus a little bit more on uh, resistance. Because even though it's good to puppet stuff, o Oklahoma already did that twice. They just straight up annex things, so. I may eventually make Mexico, though. Hmm. An independent. Well, 
a relatively independent Mexico that is basically a puppet under us. Sounds kind of like fun. Now, that's pretty much the focus tree, but we ain't done yet. Do we have a continuous... Ah, there they are. Continuous focuses, that'd be good. Maybe suppress subjects, maybe lower resistance. That'd be kind of good to, to do. Because even though it's going up, or compliance is going up every day by 0.6. Lady Claiborne, Panama? Okay, then. Okay, oh, good. We got some support equipment. Garrisons, you need military police. Bop. There you go. Thank you. That really shouldn't hurt us that badly. Nope, it did not. We got plenty of guns, though. Plenty of guns, which means we can share the wealth. Chihuahua and ideals. Good, good, good. Fighters. We got anything here? Uh, we could make tanks. Put it down at the bottom. There you go. Go down there. Appalachia and Maryland sign a white piece. Did they just. They puppeted Alabama. Are you, are you just independent now again? What the. Oh, wait, the. Oh. Who are you? Oh, oh no. An exiled FDR? They're a puppet? No. Yeah, FDR is a puppet of Maryland. What the heck? Um. Well then. Okay, it's good that they have a generic focus. Even though they go fascist, they get a lot of manpower. Oh, oh man, look at that manpower. Not very good. We're gonna have to raise conscription. Extensive. It's, ooh, I really don't want to go. Yeah, it wants to do that. We need that. Definitely, definitely, definitely need that. Since we're here, you know, we've got plenty of guns. Why do we make these guys very special forces? Very special. There we go. There we go. Bop. 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 Oh, we ran out of stuff to use. Well, 32 combo width really isn't ideal, but whatever. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. And that hurt our manpower. Whoops. You know what? Lower you by one. We won't need that many guards for the coast. White Horse Militia. Who's the White Horse? Oh, it's up there. Did y'all just peace out? Okay, you just you just peaced out, huh? This mod is very weird. Very, very weird. Go do that. Oh, did you not? There you go. I'm March to Tulsa. And now we're pretty much done with the focus stream. So we can't really do much with, uh, you know, political power, but technology sharing? It's not a bad idea. Pre repair. Go ahead and do that for now. That'd be fine. Let's see. 38. Gun stuff. I wish there was a way to get more population, but whatever. I mean, we have a pretty good army right now. It's not bad. Okay. Virginia declared war on the Miz... Of all the states to attack Virginia, Missouri is probably the one you don't want to attack. Uh, first of all, there's a waterway here. And that's, that's, that's literally the only tile there. Like, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I uh, will... Ooh, radar really isn't really beneficial over there, but whatever, we'll do it anyways. We'll do it anyways, because we can. And keep building. Wow, we built up a lot. I love it. Build, build, build. I could get more... Re oh my god, this place has so many resources. Big Ben country. Get some more fuel, even though we probably will never need that. Uh, actually, we're going to probably build up stuff all around here, because there's so many resources. I never knew New Mexico was so rich in resources. Holy cow. All right, we're going to build one there. That's nice. Chihuahua and posturing. Promises of peace. I'd like to raise my stability a little bit more. Montana's gone. Montana has given up. Or are they just own a white piece? Looks like a white piece. Good. It's been capped. That's nice. Utah is whooping some Wyomingites. Cool. Cool. And compliance is slowly going up. Local police force. Let's garrisons more population. I like that. Resources factories. Ooh, recruitable population plus 20%. We actually like that a lot. And we're going to war with Chihuahua. It didn't take that long. And I do have a cup of butter mint tea here. Ah, the tastes of Texas. Cool. Mm, probably don't ever need that. And I'll grab some better artillery because we can. Cool. Chihuahua, are you ready for this? You guys are done, looking amazing. Hope you're ready, Chihuahua. And next after them, how strong is this Jesse Appleton, Arizona? Oh, they're not bad. That's actually not too bad. Do I really want to border, though, with the NCR? Do we really like the NCR? Hmm, we do. We are going to be sandwiched by them. Hmm, 
We could go to war with Kansas, but that would expand Oklahoma a lot. And eh, we'll do it anyways. That's not bad. Give our guys a couple days, get a couple, a little bit more organization. Hmm, should I pup these guys or not? Or I give it to our ally down here. But you're not my puppet, so I'm probably actually going to just end up puppeting you then. Let's puppet Chihuahua. Let's have an independent Mexico. But by independent, I mean directly under us. Okay. Well, we're going to be over war for a long time, my friends. All right, well, California, you've made your choice. Florida's in the game. Chihuahua joined them. So be it. And Virginia. I'm going to take you out eventually. This is probably a bad idea. Cool. People's Republic of South South Carolina declared war on the state of... Finally, a Carolinian civil war. And Chihuahua will fall pretty easily. Then we're going to help take out uh, the state of Alabama and Florida. Nice. Very good. We can get some more warp up again. Actually, that would be very beneficial. Let's do that. With, even though we have alliances with all these southern states, let's just be real and we're going to take them out eventually. Take them out eventually. Oh, yeah. Come on. I'll, we will expand Louisiana once they take out Alabama and Florida. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Take out Arizona. They'll probably join the faction. Ah, they're done. Good. Now things are heating up quite a bit more. Quite a bit more. People's old Mexico declared war on the big land. All right. People's Sinaloa. All right, you guys. God's enriched empire. Build more military factories. Well, we just want to build up our civilian stuff first. Mobile defense. Ah, the people... The Republic of Nevada. That's quite interesting. Integrated support organization. I don't really have line infantry. That's okay. Planes. You guys can kind of hang out for now. Come on over here and take them out. Shoot down some of them gators in Alabama. Now, there's going to be a lot of resistance around here. That's not good. But you could slither along there and then basically cut Alabama in half. That would be absolutely delightful. Oh boy, you could declare war on them or Aryan nations. Declare war on Oregon. This is definitely turning into wildness. Good. And as soon as we have them split, we go on probably to attack. Good. Good. The fourth international. How many internationals will there be? Well, no internationals here. I promise you that. Mm -mm. This ain't communist Texas came. Nope. Nope. Alabama. Hmm. Gonna make them fall. You, got, you can keep one guy there if you want. Attrition is pretty bad around here. We're gonna need some logistic companies. Do we have enough army XP? Where do we do that? It's gonna cost us more support equipment that we don't really have. If that's okay, let's go ahead and build up another military factory. Uh, I don't want to build it on the coast. Alright, there'll be fine. There you go. And... Good. People's very... Cruise. Oh, down here. Um... I guess that's from to Texcoco? So I guess we'll give it to them, even though they're still not my puppet. Uh, which one is that? Texcoco. Oh, good job, guys. I'm still gonna take everyone else. We're gonna backstab everyone here before we're done. There goes Wyoming. They have just been puppeted. Very good. Try to get up there if you can. You guys should do okay since we do have probably enough air support up here. Nice. Very nice. Yellow on yellow action. That sounds a little wrong. But whatever. Whatever. Birmingham? Mmm. Love it. Never been there. Might never. Might not never go. Might not never go. Might ever. Ugh, that word's hard. Difficult. Yes. Hello. Ah, yes. Take him out. Even though we're attacking over a river, this will put us in good in a good position between us and Tennessee. Peace conference, good. South Carolina, yeah, that's right. North Carolina dominated South Carolina. As a person from who was born in Charlotte, North Carolina, oh yeah. But I still love South Carolina. I love Myrtle Beach. Awesome. Oh, there we go. 
Now let's reorganize the line, even though it's poorly made. There's so many people, we're going to have to backstab here. It's not even funny. Oh, improved infantry equipment. Ah, uh, might as well grab that. The Cajun Legion, Lone Star Empire, and everyone's killing each other. And we have the Virginian Empire and Oklahoman Empire. It's just a good time all around. Now, that being said, mobile. we got to really focus on the Alabama part here. Because things are not going to be very easy. I need to get rid of this National Guard too. So, Could y'all win? I hope so. I don't think it can reach that way. Nope. We prepare for the great struggle. Absolutely great struggle. I'm glad we're mobilizing, though. I'm really glad we are. That's really good. Ooh. Hey, we won. Nice. That was really nice. Really fast. Can you guys win there? Should be able to. Uh, could you, like, move there? Probably. Tex... Tex Coco, you've been very, very aggressive. Mobile. Actually... To form the Confederate, Confederate States, we have to be fully independent. So if I, like, Puppet Chihuahua, hmm, we'll see what happens. I might just straight up annex them first and then release them later. Oh, it's down, oh my goodness, Texcoco, you're being very aggressive. You don't even have this as a core state, hmm. That's alright. Hey, we cut off mobile from all the rest of them folks. That's the enemies, sure. See what y'all can do. Oh man, it's so small down here. I can barely even see it. If you want, you don't have to go that way. You guys can come this way. Cut those two divisions off. That might just help. God dang, supply so bad. Come on, Alabama, why are your roads so bad? I know there's hurricanes probably every year almost, but it's terrible roads, man. Terrible roads. Let's see. Compassion, gentlemen. Da -da -da -da. I get that. And... We can't win down here, that's okay. Go ahead and take them out. Even though you have, like, no organization. That's still okay. Can you guys, there? Can you guys cut those guys off? Now, that would put us in a really bad encirclement. Now, you can't do too much, because... Oh, we got encircled ourselves. Well, that sucks. Well, time to go, then. Wow, that was actually really bad. That was really good for them, by them. They planned ve that very well. I can't believe I lost a few soldiers there. Oh my goodness, that is my fault completely. I take full responsibility for that. Yeah, these guys are gone. I'd rather just delete them. Florida. Hmm, Florida. How strong is their navy? Because I'll just navally invade them. Oh, uh, hold on. Am I still trading my navy? I am. Now, we saw last time, our navy isn't very good. But you never know what we might be able to do. Yeah, if we can push over there, we'll go to war with them. Well, we're not, definitely not going to go to war with them yet. How many men have I lost? Oh, we cut off Mobile. Good, good. We lost 12,000. That's not great, but we cut off a lot of Floridians and Alabamans. Not bad, not bad. Come on, you guys gotta win. You guys gotta win. New York, Pennsylvania. All right. Take mobile, we gotta capitulate them. Wait, that's not, that ain't mobile. Hey, there's there's another mobile. Mobile, mobile. We're almost there. We're almost there. Come on. We're doing air damage. Love it. We almost got it. State of Alabama has finally capitulated. Greatness. Great, 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 great. Now... Let's do this again and not get encircled ourselves. Please, for the love of God, kill them off. Now, this might really push our navy to the limits. Because these ships are really quite garbo. Florida. Hopefully our carriers can do at least a little something. That'd be kind of nice if they could. Attack, cut these guys off. That's why I get the horses to do it. Beautiful. Kill them all off. Oh, we lost a few divisions, but you know, I think it makes up for this right here. We can go straight for Tallahassee after this. And we need to go to war with Arizona soon enough. Uh, Cajun Legion. Oh, I can't believe those puppet focuses expire. The war goals expire. January 17th. We're going to have to be fast. 
Take out Florida. Go, 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 people's Chiapas. That's all right. I think we're doing pretty darn well against this evil Pacific Feder North Federation. We need to go to Tennessee to link up with Virginia, too. Just, there you go, please. Thank you. And Florida's gone. All right, awesome. Time for Arizona. Oh, they're, they're, they're dying. They're dying. Cool. Oh, my goodness. You don't even have any sort of airbase nearby. That is a big no-no. Huge no-no. Albertan Separatists. Cool. Oh, Missouri's striking us. Um... Hmm. This should have it under control. Should. If we don't get a good war with these guys, that's okay. Hmm. Delaware and Empire declared war in Pennsylvania. All right. Well, okay. Well, whatever. State of Nevada. Could go to war. See what happens. Immediately invade if you can. Uh, air base wise, come over here. Help them out in Sonora. Because that's where I see most of the action taking place for right now. Come straight in. Take one of you guys, come straight to the, down there to give these guys a little bit more support. Good. It's fine, we'll help them out. Got some research done as well. Very good, very, very good. Happy 1939, my friends. Hope you're having a great, great year. If anything, we could probably split Arizona with uh, Nevada. There you go. Even though we really don't deserve it. Because Nevada deserves most of it. We still, we still fought a little bit. And what are they going to do with that? No, not much. And we'll get this in just a little bit. Las Vegas. Flagstaff. I don't do this much easier like this. Hold on, let's see. Nevada. Bop, 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 bop. Can I take the rest of this? No. Hmm. Disappointing. You know, just to make it easier, I'm just going to do this real quick. Thank you. And I guess it's time to go to war with you guys, too. Bunch of commies. 35 days. You don't deserve anything, you bunch of commie freaks. Ah. Oh, love it. Let me expand that airbase, too. We don't have enough planes. Okay, give me another airbase. Right there. There you go. Very nice. Are our guys winning? Yeah, Oklahoma. Oklahoma's becoming very, very large. I'm getting a little worried about it, actually. Becoming just a little bit too large. Well, what have you done, California? You've done nothing. You've picked a fight with us. You got some local security. You got a massive fleet like me. You got a couple divisions like me. Less manpower than me. What you thinking, son? What are you thinking? Ohio declared war on Maryland? Holy cow, that's pretty far away, man. Artillery? Yeah. Suppression, how is the occupied territories looking? Not too bad. We've got a good amount of compliance already. I like that. I really, really like that. That's really good. Uh, how's our empire looking? Our faction? Um, we're looking pretty good. We stretch from the tip of Florida to the Pacific. Oh, there's an Ontario empire, too. That looks really good. Oh, Missouri, you picked a wrong fight. Okay, nice. Uh, oh, I got a lot of score. Even though we're not going to take this, there's going to be, I guess, there's going to be a lot of backstabbing here. Holy cow. Oklahoma, I really don't want really bad borders, so. Wow. I didn't know you could divide up Nebraska like that. Uh, yeah. Glaciated Till Plains. Glaciated Ozarks. I've been around the Ozarks. Oh, that is Ozarks, yeah. Oh, it looks right there, too. Wow, I would hate to be Kansas. <laughs> Look at Kansas. Holy cow. Yeah. Mm, I'm really worried about this now. How many divisions you guys got? Oh, there's only 11 divisions. I'm Once we have peace, I might just kick them out now and take them out so we can expand Texas. We might just do that. We're probably going to do that. So then Texas will become huge over here. To kick these guys out. Go to war with the People's Republic of Nevada. How strong are you guys? 49 divisions. That's not bad. Call all of our allies in, because allies are nice to have. Good. And I guess we could just 
attack all willy-nilly, but... Hmm. Don't want to be too crazy, especially with the border with the NCR. I mean, that's literally just the NCR. It's not even, like, anything special. It's literally just the NCR. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, boy. Buckeye Imperium in Ohio. Do we really want Ohio here? Central Cascadia? Oh, why does Washington want to join us? I'm going to say no to them. Buckeye Imperium might be really interesting. You know what? Oh, we have to fight Maryland? Uh, is Virginia ready for that? They're ready enough. Nice. That's fine. I don't really care. I'll be honest, I don't really care. Just move, 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 move. Nice. Oh. El Salvador. You know what? We'll take as many allies as we can now. We can always kick people out, people out later. Oh man, that's some laggy auto saving. Oklahoma Empire, good. Who else can we invite? Some progress for you. Uh, don't really want to get involved in their affairs. Not too much, at least. Yuma? Hey, I know that from uh, New Vegas. New Vegas? Well, I know that from Old World Blues. Beautiful. Help him out. Help him out. Take Phoenix. Never been. Maybe go there someday, though. Get to Las Vegas. Nellis Air Force Base. The Mojave Desert. Moapa Valley. Carson City. Uh, the Yakuza tribes there. Maybe. Maybe not. Come on. Cut them off. Cut them off. And then come back immediately so you don't get cut off. Actually, go, come here so you can so they don't move as we slowly kill these guys off. M1 Thompson's good. Good. Very good. Get some of this, too. Beat him up, beat him up. Come on. Oh, man, these guys are hard to kill. How strong are these divisions? Are they like 40 combat width or something? They might be. They're pretty thick. We're definitely going to have to rest after this war. Oh, and the NCR's there. Hmm. No, they're not in any faction. Better armor? Not yet. Cascadia still only. That's fine. Don't get encircled. Good. Very good. Help them out a little bit. Oh, we got encircled. That's really not good. See if you can try to rescue them. Nah, you probably won't be able to. So California has access through there, which... Oh, they just murdered them. Holy cow. Alright, so with this, this, this has got to change. You guys got to go over there. Kill those guys off. Come on, hold them in place. Just hold them in place. That's the main goal. Good. Ah, oh, I love having allies. Uh, sure, Texaco. Buckeye, Imperium. Uh, no. No, thank you. There are you guys over here. You guys can stop doing that. Just do what you need to do for now. Air Force-wise, we should... Oh, we're not even using... I told you to do Arizona, I thought. Maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong. No wonder we lost that quickly. Come on, guys, get in here quickly. What are you doing? Just move that way. If, they, if the Buckeyes want to take over... Over their dead bodies. We gonna do this and that. Panhandle. Never knew what the panhandle was, but a panhandle is like has connected or touching three other sides that are not connected to its original self in a rectangular shape. We need more guns. Really more support equipment though. Lots more support equipment. That's good. Don't attack. Please, for the love of God, don't attack. Kinda hang out, hold for now. Some forces over here, which we'll put over there. Just kind of hold this area. It'd be great if we did more plane stuff, but we'll do that eventually. You guys will be led by General Walker, because we can. Because we can be. Up to you. Come back that way. Alright, come on. You wanted the war so bad, NCR. You, how about you fight me? Well, what we're going to do is this. We are going to solidify our, our position some more after we smack them down here very harshly with with much aggression. They won't be able to stand up to us. Very good. Very good. What a bunch of commies over here. 1 to 3, 8 to 24. Nevada isn't the problem. It's the NCR. That's a huge problem. We're going to get some planning bonuses too. So We're going to wait a little bit. Get enough guns, get enough support equipment before we actually do anything. Why'd you cancel the Lindley's, man? 
Oh, that's, that's me, man. Well, why'd you do that? We don't need that. Garrison's looking good. Our, we need probably improve our horses maybe a little bit. Let's throw on some... Yeah, that'd be nice. And that, and then that. There you go. Definitely need that. Throw on some cavalry. Wait, what? No, I want this. Thank you. And then boom. Boom. Awesome. Modify the government. Oh, I could change high command, but we can wait a little bit. Let's see. That's good. That's good. You guys hanging out around here. You know, Walker, just defend. I'm not really interested in this war, to be honest with you. Really don't care that much. So, Amish country. That's cool. Walton Walker. Anything else? Uh, really good Panzer expert. We'll get him to be a Panzer expert eventually. So, you guys are just kind of hanging out. This is mountain, so we don't want to attack there. But we'll probably be forced to. We could probably attack actually here. Maybe win? Maybe, maybe not. We do have a deficit of... Actually, it's not that bad. But anyways, this video has gone on long enough. So, we've done really, really well. We've really, really expanded our faction across to the Pacific. Almost, yeah, basically to the Pacific and the Atlantic. We've done very well. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to leave your comment below as to where the USS Texas Battleship is currently located. But if you liked the video, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the channel in the description below. And I'll catch you all tomorrow as we will push into California and show California really what it means to be Texan. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.